Abby can help you save. We're back 8-11 with our Inside the Game series as we count down to the start of the NFL regular season. Just a little over two weeks to go. Oh, I'm so excited. The teams have been working hard to prepare all summer long, of course, and that includes the legendary Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders as well. And BC's Kelly Hartung got to spend the day at one of their practices as the season kicks off. You've been looking forward to this one. I have. You and you know, I have. The two of you. Well, I think kick is the operative yeah. word here, right? Because to join the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, even for the day, you've got to be prepared to do a lot of them. They're known as America's sweethearts, but there's nothing sweet about their grueling practices, and there is a lot of heart. This is the 62nd season of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Seven, eight. These women represent generations of blood, sweat, tears, and tradition. And the stakes are high at this practice. Great energy on kickoff. I, I could see you 50 yards away. We are just one week away, really, from our first home preseason game. And although it's preseason, for the girls, it's their first game. And so it's extremely important. Yeah, that's... Kelly Finglass, a former Dallas Cowboys cheerleader herself, has been director of the DCC for 33 years. Kelly and friends have to be right behind Sophie. She is fiercely protective of her team, but just as protective of their craft. Perfection is required. The standard is the standard for the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. How do you think each season, and as you head into this one, about leveling up? Well, that's why I don't sleep at night. I mean, I'm a chronic improver. One of our main goals is performance excellence. And if it's wrong, we want it right. And to get it right, these women rehearse almost every night after wrapping up their full-time day jobs in careers like nursing, marketing, and real estate. OK, who went to work today at a job that is not involved being a Dallas Cowboy Twitter? Everybody else. Just staying busy is kind of like the common thread between yeah. us. Eyes have always been on the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, but maybe now more than ever with the success of their recent Netflix show, America's Sweethearts, which follows the cheerleaders on and off the field. How has just opening the door to their lives impacted them and, and started new conversations among you all? This is still all real new to us. We don't know what the Netflix effect can do. People might see the cheerleaders at a football game and it's just a very small part of the show. Now it's like, wow, I know that girl. I know her journey. And people now really, really identify with those stories of success. <laughs> Most nights, the cheerleaders arrive to their locker room around 6 p.m. My locker and Carly's. Carly, a three-year veteran, and Shandy, a six-year vet, show me around <laughs> when I spy their signature white boots. So we like to have a pair on hand and then a pair at home because you never know what could come up. There are 36 spots on the team, and even the veterans have to re-audition every year. Now that those emotions are behind you, what's the challenge right now? as you get ready for game one. I think the challenge um, would be stamina, at least for me. It's, it's a four hour game and we have a practice before, so you really have to be fueling and preparing your body for that amount of time. But to me, even their warm up was intimidating. I'm guessing I'm not the only one here who dreamed of being a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. No, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think around five, six years. And with some great coaching, that dream was about to come true for a few whole minutes. Stand up. Five, six, seven, eight. How do you dance with your hair down? This is my most pressing question. The ladies were kind enough to teach me a few counts from their most iconic routine. So I could really feel that DCC magic. Oh my gosh! I think Terrible. With the season fast approaching, this team is ready to take center stage. This is such an honor. <laughs> One, two, three, DCC, woo! Oh, 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 that wasn't going to go that far. But. <laughs>
Right you could be a loser to the Cowboys. I, mean, I think we're safe. I think my day oh, job is did safe. Did you cheer in high school or college? Or? I, I danced growing okay. up. I was wow. captain of my high school dance team. Although, oh. I really tried to lower expectations when I, I walked on that field. Back. That's awesome. <laughs> that was like fun. The girls were so generous, so kind, and patient with me for sure. But Kelly, the director, yeah. I thought gave me the best piece of advice. I said, you know, when you're performing, what advice do you have for me? She said, Picture your celebrity crush in the second row. Oh, Don't hilarious. dance for the front row. Look up. Oh, and hilarious. she said when she was dancing in the 80s, she'd perform as if Tom Cruise was sitting there. Oh, 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 oh are you kidding me? I've incriminated myself enough this yeah. morning. I, I, I am absolutely keeping my lips sealed. Oh, wow. that, is that was really cute. Yeah. That was way fun. to go. Oh, I didn't realize that they all had full-time jobs. Oh, yeah. And they do their own hair and makeup. Yeah. That's impressive. That's no. Kelly place. asked me if I did my own, and and I shook a little in my bones. <laughs> I have a question. Did they mention Savannah and Jenna? Yeah. They did. Yeah. Oh, your video is playing in the Cowboys oh. facility. Oh, oh, on a loop. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, thanks, Hoda. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Loop. Looking Are fantastic. You serious? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. They're like, as can be. We sent someone from the Today Show younger and hotter. So we said, <laughs> Kaylee, sorry, Jenna and I have been fired. We've been replaced. Oh, wow. cool. I didn't get to put on the uniform. Yeah. You wore the uniform. You very you could wear the uniform. That was fun. Well, 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 we should mention, Kaylee, that the uh, NFL season kickoff is right here on NBC and Peacock. The Ravens and the Chiefs, we got our date already, Thursday, September the 5th. It's followed. Go, by yeah, the way. I'll be there. Kaylee's going. Yeah. yeah. Right there number. on the sideline. Maybe line. you should go to Eagles Cheerleaders Camp. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, All right. We got another check of the weather now. Angie Lassen. With this for Al. Hi. Hi, guys. Bravo, Kaylee. Love seeing that from you. How about Ernesto? Have we talked about Ernesto enough? We've still uh, got the system to talk about a little longer before it starts to.